This is a Boss Motor Company car through and through. This car is what we do. It's the kind of cars we love to buy and love to sell. And they don't tend to hang around very long because they are so special. So I'll explain why we like these cars. I'll explain why this one is so special. This is a 2019 on a 69 registration, Mercedes C63 S AMG. It is the premium plus model. So there aren't many out there that are premium plus. That is the top of the range all of the options, everything you can order on one. Um, and this car has done 4,700 miles from new. It is unique, incredible low mileage for a car that is three years old. And it's got a total Mercedes-Benz service history. It's got one more service in a service plan prepaid for. So the next service is free for the next owner. Um, and it's two owners in total. Mercedes-Benz were the first and one private keeper who I'll mention a bit later, has looked after this car incredibly well. It is exactly what we look for when we look to buy cars. You know, the best of the best of what's out there, what's available in the UK. So I'll run you through the car, loads to talk about. It's a facelifted model, so it's the second generation C63S, and we need to show you some of those bits. And what we'll do is we'll start at the front and we'll go through from there. So starting at the front, you'll see that the car's fitted with a chrome package. That's all of the silver parts here. So you can see all the way, this sort of area above the, um, above the front splitter here, which is lovely, finished in sort of a, a high gloss satiny silver finish. Um, then you've got those, those continue down the sides of the cars, underneath the, uh, the doors, the side flanks of the cars. And then obviously you can see the chrome pack across the, uh, the windows. It goes all the way around the A pillar, the B pillar. And that obviously continues to the back of the car as well, which we'll show you a little bit later on. That's very interesting. Lots of these cars have black packs. This one does not, it's a chrome package. And for me, against the selenite gray, which is the color of this car, I think the, the chrome package looks absolutely stunning. I think this is a really classy looking C63 for me. Right, front of the car, 2019 update. So you get this completely changed front grille. This is called the Pan America grille. Um, it matches our AMG GTC, which is over there, which got the same update, which for me, for both of these cars, it really updated it. It made the car a lot meaner. It made it a lot more modern. So instead of the old grille, which had one single horizontal straight that went all the way across the grille there, um, you've now got these beautiful vertical strakes, and obviously they're finished in chrome as well to go with the chrome package. A really lovely update for the 2019 model year cars. You get new headlights. These are the multi-beam LEDs. They've got two uh, vertical LED beams on the outside and one main cluster in the middle, but visually they're a beautiful looking light. I mean, look at the blue flex behind the LED power unit there. I think that looks absolutely stunning. Really good looking light. And what I've said before, and I say it a lot, I think Mercedes-Benz have the most advanced, the smoothest, the best adaptive lights in the marketplace. There are lots of manufacturers out there that do this, that have this technology, but Mercedes-Benz technology, it's the smoothest. When a car is coming towards you and they're blocking the beam where that car is coming in the opposite direction, and as the car goes by you, the beam lifts again. Lots of other manufacturers have a really clunky system. You know, it works, it's brilliant, it's great technology, but Mercedes, it's faster and it's smoother. And it's just, for me, the best in the marketplace at the moment. So we're gonna start over here again as we go, start to go around the car. Now, as I said earlier, this car has been loved. Superly, superly well looked after. I'm not even sure if superly is a word. Extremely well looked after. Um, and the, the second owner, the gentleman that we bought the car from, has done some really nice things to the car. So firstly, the whole front end of the car, up to the top of the B, bottom of the B pillar here, um, has PPF, paint protection film. And you can see that really clearly when you look at the V8 Biturbo logo here, you can see the cutout of where the paint protection film is. Now, that is not cheap. It's an expensive thing to do. It has to be done really professionally. And what it does when it is done to this standard is it protects the car. It protects all of the paintwork at the front end where it's really prone to stone chips and marks and scrapes. You've got that extra layer of protection. It's fabulous, and you know that when you come to see this car, you know what kind of condition you're expecting it to be in, and it is exactly as you would imagine it would be. Beautiful condition, 4,700 miles and protected. The rest of the car is also ceramic coated. Again, 
huge expense has been spent on this car. Lots of things that people go and do once they bought the car from, from dealerships. It's all been done for you. It's already done. The car is ready. Um, the car is also fitted with these amazing AMG forged wheels. Not many of them out there have this wheel. For me, this is my favorite wheel on a C63S. Um, it's, it's got this beautiful sort of polished outside rim, finished in silver as well. And that goes really nicely with the rest of the, uh, the chrome package that the car has fitted to it. It really ties in very nicely. And then obviously you've got these massive AMG disc brakes, these huge rotors back there, massive stopping power, um, and these brilliant six piston uh, calipers, which are finished in AMG, and finished with an AMG logo and painted in red. And I, truly, if nothing says AMG more than that, set that wheel look there, I don't know what does. It's, it's a mega looking thing. We'll move on down the car. Obviously the wheels are matched at the back, obviously with an AMG car, the rears are slightly wider for a rear wheel drive car. 510 brake horsepower this car is, so it needs that mechanical grip. And then we'll come round the back of the car. Now, as I said before, the chrome package follows the sides, follows the back and comes round the back of the car exactly as you would imagine it would. You've got chrome AMG badges on the back of the boot there these amazing rear exhaust pipes. And you can see that these have got AMG imprinted into the top of the pipes as well. They're finished in chrome. And then that lovely silver lower part of the, of the uh, diffuser at the back of the car here as well. It all follows, it all ties in nicely. And look at the back of that car. That is an AMG C63S. And the update again, before we move on from the back of the car, you can see the update down here. And I'm sorry to bring you back down here, but what you've got, is a completely updated rear diffuser section. This whole lip along the bottom of the diffuser is new for the 2019 model year, and you have much bigger exhaust tailpipes here. These are much bigger, much, they used to be smaller and, and slightly more square. They're more angular and much bigger, a much meaner looking back end. Again, some nice small little touches that Mercedes did to cosmetically bring this car up to date. And also inside when we get there, you're gonna see some of the technology that they added, which for me makes this car a much more usable car in the modern day and truly just a better car all round. So we'll come down this side. Obviously being a premium plus, you get the big panoramic roof. That opens as well, a must. And then we'll have a look. I'll jump in and I'll run you through some of the things on the door card when I'm in the car. And then we'll go through some of the amazing tech inside. So. If I pull the door slightly closer to me, if the camera can still see, is that okay? Right. Obviously, all the technology you'd imagine in a Mercedes. You've got electric windows, power folding mirrors, obviously electrically adjustable. Memory function for the driver's seat. Identical memory function for the passenger side over there, as you would imagine, because it's a premium plus. And then obviously, you've got your heated seats. And up here is the Burmester surround sound stereo, these beautiful aluminium speaker grills. A must have option for me in all cars is a stereo. The Burmester surround in this car is phenomenal. I will go through some of the amazing tech in here now. Um, we'll run you through some incredible updates in here. So I'll turn all the computers on. And the first thing you're gonna be hit with is this incredible new display. This is new for the facelifted models. Um, it's their Mercedes new digital display. And I mean, you can already see how good it is. It's something that these cars definitely needed, uh, an update that was required because all of their competitors were doing it, you know, and the original C63 for me had these analog dials and truthfully, it looked a bit dated. It definitely needed the update. Um, as you can hear that V8 come to life. I mean, what, what a sound. But this display is brilliant and it's all controlled. You can control it through the older style uh, system down here with the wheel. That's, that remains the same, that's carried over from the old model. But you now have the ability with this new AMG wheel as well, which I'll talk about in a second, to control these two displays from the wheel. So the display in front of you, the digital dash in front of you is all controlled on the right hand side of this steering wheel. You have this little slider in front of you and you can go through the menu. So I'm over on the right hand side screen at the moment and you can go over to the left just sliding across the left and you've got all of these menus over here, your G-Sensor, Turbo Boost, all your driving modes, etc. They're all there. So an incredibly adjustable display. This is in the sports display. It has different dials. You can have two speedo dials as well, but this is the one I prefer, the one I like the most. Um, and then that brings me backwards into the car, into this incredibly cool and updated steering wheel. So it has a sort of Ferrari Manatino style dial down here where you can change the driver's modes. This is all new for the facelifted car. And obviously as I go through, you can hear the exhaust because it has a sports exhaust open up as I select Sport Plus. 
This car also has a race mode, um, so some really aggressive driving modes. And then obviously if I flick it straight back to comfort, the car quietens down again. Um, that's a really nice touch. You have these adjustable buttons here on the left-hand side of the steering as well. These are all digital displays, which for me, I think is really clever. It's really nice little touch from Mercedes-Benz. And the last owner has obviously tuned this, so this button here changes the suspension settings, and this button here switches the exhaust from loud back to quiet. Really, really cool. Beautifully finished now. Um, I think, again, the old wheel felt very dated. It's a much more modern steering wheel. Big aluminium cold metal paddles and these amazing controls here. You've got your cruise control on the right and all your voice activation and your Bluetooth on the left-hand side. And as I said earlier, you can use the left side of this steering wheel here to control the screen over here. So if I press home, it'll bring me to the menu. I can scroll through all of the options here. I can go to the navigation over here. That'll bring up all the navigation settings, this amazing map here as well. I mean, and this is just, as I say, it was a requirement. It needed to happen. A really nice 2019 update touch. This display here also is much bigger. It's the new wide inch display, sorry, wide screen display uh, that Mercedes have brought into these cars. Much wider, much clearer. Everything's very, very visible. And also when you put the car into reverse, all of these options are much more clear to the eye as well. So for me, it's an updated reverse camera. It's a lot clearer than the old one. You've obviously got all of the adjustments here. And this car is fitted with 360 surround cams with top view, which you can see on the right screen here. Obviously the driver's door is open, so that camera is not in the right place, so that's blocked out. But when the door is shut, that obviously completes the square. Amazing feature, really, really handy when you're parking a car like this. Really nice to have. Again, part of this being a premium plus model car. The controls are pretty similar down here. You've got all the same air conditioning controls. They're fabulous as well though. Two zone digital climate control, everything you need here. And then you've got the beautiful IWC clock in the center here. Again, that's a lovely cost option, a really nice thing to have rather than just a, you know, a standard clock there, a really special looking little digital analog clock down there. Everything you'd imagine as well. Another little update, wireless phone charger under here and a little USB slot there for Apple CarPlay because this updated system has Apple CarPlay as standard, a must have for me in a modern car, really, really important. And then as we go up here, you've obviously got the blind for the panoramic roof. It's a big roof in a small coupe car like this. And then obviously it opens. So on a nice hot sunny day, it actually opens a really large way. It goes a long way back great amount of air comes into the car great amount of light comes into the car really helps on those beautiful sunny days again for me a must-have cost option the car has obviously tons of storage a big storage bin in the middle here another couple of usb slots in there as well for charging your phones big storage bins in the uh, in the doors as well you can get a big bottle in there so really usable truly a really usable everyday car but it's a c63s it's 510 brake horsepower it's, it's an absolute beast on the road, but in those comfort modes, exhaust off, all of those things switch down to sort of to idle, the car is usable. And I think that is the beauty of it. It is a, it's an everyday car if you want it to be. Now, I'll just summarize for you. Um, and as I started the video, this car is us. This is a Boss Motor Company car. Two owners from new, Mercedes-Benz and a private owner. It is 4,700 miles a full Mercedes-Benz service history with the next service included for free because it's paid for on a service plan, full PPF front end, full ceramic coating for the rest of the car, beautiful condition. It is ready to go today. And what an opportunity for someone to buy, in my opinion, one of the best C60, used C63 S's available in the country today. My name is Matthew. I hope this video has been useful. Thank you very much for watching.